So one thing 3D Coat lacks is a uh, texture brush. You just get this kind of flat brush. Uh, you're going to be painting. There's not a real clear way to give it some sort of texture. Uh, it was actually in Photoshop, it's very easy. You just add a texture or a dual brush or um, uh, some combination to get some effect like that. And I had talked with Andrew at 3D Coat, and he had suggested uh, instead of using a texture with a brush, there's actually sort of a, a workaround method. And it's in Window, Pop-Ups, and it's under Masks. It's also on the right over here. And you just uh, click on one of the masks, and it'll pop up. And you're essentially masking out an area. And there's a lot of options up here under the preview options. You can adjust if it's tiling. It's always tiling because it's a mask. Uh, or uh, you can also do auto align uh, based on the camera. The percentage is how visible you want it. And then uh, paint, you can flip in the X or the Y. You can click on the little uh, magnifying glass. You can zoom the texture. You can tile it more or tile it less. And then you can move it around. You can rotate it. So you, you have a lot of options here uh, within this. And then if you click on the option uh, next to tiling, it says auto right now, that will actually hide it. Uh, so it's right over, click right there. Um, and then when you make a stroke, it will disappear. And then when, you, uh, when you're zooming around, it will show up actually. Uh, you can also just turn that completely off if you want and make that uh, uh, completely transparent which is kind of nice and uh, what it essentially is going to do is going to end up masking out a certain area so you can see when we're painting we're only painting around in the in that kind of wire frame or in that hexagon uh, shaped pattern the one thing to keep in mind is um, it is a mask so it's always going to mask out the same area you can also click on the plus sign and load in your own textures so we've done that here and uh, we can adjust the tiling how little or less we want it to tile we can move it around and then we just click on hidden and now it's completely hidden and you can see we get some sort of texture the problem is if you keep going over that stroke you can see it's not getting any more opaque and what you're going to have to do no matter how hard we press the brush size whatever nothing will happen what you'll have to do is move the model uh, a little bit you have to rotate it or just slightly move it to the left or right and so you get in this habit of moving a lot but uh, currently, that is the best option to give uh, some sort of uh, texture to a brush or, or a dual brush in 3D Coat while you're in Paint Room. You can see how it's uh, working here. It's, it's building up pretty good if we just kind of keep moving the model uh, a little bit around and, and I kind of get in that habit. Uh, again, I tend to go to uh, Hidden uh, and then it doesn't show up. The other nice thing you can do is you can save this with the brush and you're not actually saving it with the brush you're gonna save it with a preset so you're gonna go up to uh, window presets window pop-up presets and then under presets you'll just uh, click on the little arrow there and then just click uh, add preset and now whenever you select that brush that texture is going to be applied already so it's kind of nice, you can switch brushes and then go back to that textured one and keep that uh, in with your presets. Thanks.